Assalamu alaikum peers. Welcome to another video of the Traveling Peers. And today I'll be introducing you to a new car rental app that I found useful while renting this beautiful Toyota RAV4 2021 LE in Houston, Texas. So watch the full video. Let us start with the tour app. So right now I have the app open and I'm going to just show you the screen share of the app. So background of Turo, it has been in operation from 2013 and right now it's in a selected number of cities. But the main thing with Turo is it's all private cars owned by just regular people who are renting out their cars that is not being used at that time so it's more like a airbnb type but for cars so in the tour app it's basically like any other rental car companies you just give them the location where you are searching the car in the dates that you want to book the car in, and then it will show you the different cars that is available near the location that you gave and what I liked about Turo is uh, you get to see a variety of cars exotic cars and also the price is up front you can actually get what you see other rental companies they might charge you something for a SUV but when you go to pick it up you might not actually get the car they might just offer you a different car which you might not even have wanted so this thing i liked more in Turo, where you can actually book the car that you like so from Turo, if you start the booking process it's uh, very simple you just start after giving the date you select continue and it will show show you what are the options that comes with the car so one thing has to be kept in mind since these are private cars the liability it's uh, with the renter just as normal rental process but uh, in this case there are three types of uh, liability premiums that you can actually pay for so i selected the minimum liability uh, which we are not seeing for this bmw but there is another option for minimum liability and that is for $12 per day so other rental companies they actually charge you a lot higher if you are renting for multiple days um, as far as I remember it's 35 day per day $35 per day so there is uh, that is a plus with Turo you actually get to save more money with the car and also with the insurance for the car so the one that i booked for the toyota rav4 it cost me 47 dollars per day and with the additional insurance that i took it cost me 194 dollar for three days which was a good good rental for me now if we compare the normal uh, rental companies there are just like enterprise or budget so i'll do the same thing i'll just give a location of george bush international airport for the same number of days that i was renting for so if you see over here the acvs they are listed for 395 356 so most of them are above 350 and the one I booked that cost me $160 for three days. So here the price you see, of course, it's a lot higher than in Turo. But also you have to remember that there are additional charges after the price that you see. There are charges for the insurance and also there are any extras that you want to add to the car you'll have to pay for those also so other rental companies charge you higher trying the tour 
Uber app rent a car in Houston traffic and right now I'm here to pick up the car from the owner so let's see how the experience goes I've booked a draft for 2021 and it was actually within a very affordable price of $47 per day yeah. So I met up the tour host and right now he is leading me to the car and it was nice of him to give me um, instructions of what he was expecting from the car rental and also what I can expect from his car and the pickup was a very easy process I would say he gave me a tour of the car or he told me where should I should drop the car off after the rental is done so all right we got the car it's a Toyota RAV4 uh, LE trim it was pretty smooth and easy to book a ride I know budget and enterprise they would actually charge you around 300 or more with the trims and fees but this one is actually less than that so you can book your trips very easily with this app just select your city and it will list you all This one has a wide variety of cars, like Houston, they have a wide variety. With any rental car that I take, I always like to do an inspection of my own, just to see uh, what are the areas of the car not taken care of or if there is any damage that was missed and I can actually I'll take video of it or take photo of it before I start the tour and so for that purpose I was roaming around all around the car and checking all the seats just to see if there are any damages or any stains or anything I should be careful to note and also inform the host if needed but all looks good so we are on our way so it's the last day of my rental and I'm just cleaning the car before I drop it off back to the owner so right now we are in the drop off location the trip went well and I will be handing over the keys to the owner right now so far uh, before I end my booking or my rental booking I have to complete some trip details in the Turo app which I'm going to show you now so at the time of ending the trip or drop off Turo app actually wants you to take some pictures of the car just to protect the renter and also the host in this case so after renting you have to take a picture of the front the sides and also the back and you have to make sure you get a clear picture so that uh, there are no claims leave the car you also have to take pictures of the dashboard so my first time using the tour app for renting a car was really good I liked it and I'm glad that I saved some money here are some pros and cons I still think there is with the app 